This is the story of two friends, and college hoops maniacs, who set out to Champaign, Illinois to find out what makes Illinois basketball special. Hour away from Champaign. Uh, we haven't even said hello yet. And we're, we're three hours in this drive, two hours in this drive. Yeah, I mean, we've been moving right along. A little hop, skip, and a jump. Oh, and right when we do this, traffic. I think this is the most excited I've been for a trip so far. We have a pretty special relationship with Illinois fans, and we get to finally see it for ourselves in person. We do. I mean, we talk about Champagne a lot, talk about Illinois basketball a lot. I mean, we'll never actually find ourselves in Champagne. We said a couple days ago, we are on a mission to revive Illinois basketball. We are here to put our capes on and save the day. This has been a tumultuous year for the Illini. Some of the best wins in the country, followed by some of the ugliest losses you've seen from any good team over the last month. I think right now the team's kind of almost fixed, but we're here specifically to fix them. That's not the only goal though. You wanna know my main goal? I wanna know what about Champaign and Illinois basketball creates an Illinois fan. Illinois fans, they're one of a kind. They're, they're passionate. They're, they're something. You also don't want to fix Illinois until tomorrow. Yeah, I work on fixing them tomorrow. Tonight, I need them to be drama-filled, broken. Just like Illinois basketball itself, we didn't really know what to expect. We were nervous, excited, but most of all, ready to see champagne. So Discovery, for the last, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, you've been uh, frantically scrolling Bet Rivers trying to place a bet on Michigan State Moneyline to beat Illinois, but we just made the Discovery card that you can't bet on Illinois teams in the state of Illinois. I just, I, I don't know, I, there had to be somewhere where I could have like, known about this, read about this, looked it up or something, like I had no idea. You know what you should have done? What? Go to GamingLawyer.com, read their daily news feed. It gives you every industry trend development that you need in the gaming industry. I'm going to go subscribe right now. Ten minutes out from Champagne. Bad news. No graduate Champagne. So we're staying in a to-be-decided hotel. I'm sure it's not as nice as graduate. The first thing on our agenda today, game's not until 8 p.m. Central. We're getting in a little before 3 p.m. Central. Our first thing on the agenda is a local news station hit. They've asked us to come to a statue. Can't wait. Do you think we'll see Daddy Brad? We will see Brad Underwood, yes. Do you think Daddy Brad will see us, though? <laughs> All right. I want to see him. <laughs> the moment we first set our eyes on Champagne, we were charmed. But there was no time for that. We had a job to do. All right, we're in Champaign. Boots on the ground. We have a local news hit quickly that we're five minutes late for, but they stayed for us. That's the power of sleepers. Realize this man's not wearing anything sleepers, anything Field of 68, anything graduate hotels. He's repping Lululemon to the sleepers first news hit. Power of I. We just barely made it in time, but now it was our time to become local news legends. All right, we're here. We got Sarah, we got Amanda. Uh, we just did a quick little local news hit. They showed us the stops. Amanda is the Illini veteran here. Yeah, I'm just the face. <laughs> I mean, I, look, you guys do a great job. We know a little thing about successful duos. The number one spot that I want to hit is Legends. Is that fair? Legends is my favorite spot, definitely. I mean, I think it should be everyone's favorite spot. It should be on everyone's radar. Legends is the place to be. And apparently we're going live to the studio. We you didn't know are. this. Yeah, we're going to see you. Uh, our show starts at 4. Um, so we will see you then. Yeah, you're going live. Can't wait. Stay and tuned. And our sports director will be there. <laughs> <laughs> we had no idea we're actually on the news. Well, here you go. Like, we're going to be on live. We're going to be on basically Good Morning America for... Champagne. Once again, we're going to be on Good Morning America, and Carter did not wear one thing Sleepers Media Orient. Hi, guy. Don't take animals in the studio. I brought my dog with me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you think Daddy Brad thinks of you calling him Daddy Brad? You know, I would hope he appreciates it at least. He probably thought it was a little odd at first, but <laughs> no. Um, uh, you never know. You Maybe never he's know. warmed up to it. Maybe, I would Maybe it'll catch so. on. Yeah, I would. it comes from a place of endearment, you know? Right, of, of course. Okay, what's your plan for tonight? What's your game, game day plan? 
Uh, well, I think we're going to go to Legends because that's what everyone's been telling us. We asked around. We're like, where do we need to go? And we got a lot of a lot of go to Legends, go to Legends. So I think we're going to go to Legends. We also saw a couple spots before this thing. Uh, Joe's Brewery, I believe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a U of I grad. Joe's Brewery, Legends, Cam's. I feel like there's a bunch of classics all down Green Street. Well, we're taking yeah. recommendations. Okay. Yeah, we're okay. we're open no ends. Well, I hope you're ready for a few snacks, though, ahead of time to kind of warm you up because we have slaved all oh, day on this charcuterie feed. Over we took this and seriously. <laughs> well, listen, big, big fella's always ready for some snacks. Yeah, and I'm a, I'm a sucker for a good sucker. Okay, oh, what is the deal with the chunky chocolate chip chips ahoy? Are those your, like, go-to? And did you like the beef jerky snack? <laughs> yes, I did. I, beef jerky's a great snack. Yeah. If you're on the go, you just pop in beef jerky. But I didn't eat it in the car because if you eat beef jerky in the car, it's got a little bit of a, a stench to it. But mm. chips ahoy cookies. <laughs> that was are, considerate. Yeah, chips ahoy cookies are not to be Eaten. Listen, I, real cookies. I don't mean to break this to you live <laughs> on cable television in the state of Illinois right now, but your car has some smells to it that aren't just beef jerky, my friend. Okay. Oh, goodness. We'll, we'll dive into that a little deeper here coming up. Mama, I made it. I'm here. I was on the news, Mama. Now that our big moment was done, it was almost time for the game. But first, we had to get something orange to wear. I think I just spent more money there than I did in Nebraska, Iowa, and Michigan State combined. Great store. I'm ecstatic about it. Also, official decision has been made. This is war. Go Illinois. We'll get the dub to so psych. Normally, we wait until after the game to throw whatever school's gear on, but come on. I mean, come on. Cart's in trouble tonight. That's all I'm saying. You look like a winner. I can't, I can't lie. You look like a winner. It's cold. It's cold. It's, it says it's 32 outside. This is cold. I, I know that. You think AJ Hogarth's cold right now? Oh, he's about to warm up the wind. Our first impressions of State Farm Arena were pretty good. But we were hungry, so we headed down to the media room where we found two things you'll only see in Champaign, Illinois. Papa Dell's Pizza and canvassed pictures of Ludacris and Myers Leonard. We made our way up to the media seats where we found our spots before deciding it was time to go down to court level and take it all in. With only moments left until tip-off, we decided to talk to some fans and see how they were feeling. Live from the State Farm Center, we have Elijah and Elijah. That's a plot twist we didn't expect. I mean, this is about protecting home court. This is also about shoving this in the face of the lesser Elijah. Can we agree on that? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, he's in our house tonight. Uh, we got a bet going on. Whoever loses has to wear another team's gear for a week. So, man, he's going to be wearing I'm giving this jersey after the night. Sleeveless in January in Champaign is a serial killer move. What's up with that? Uh, good luck to my Spartans. Have you ever murdered anyone? Not yet. Some say that Illinois has a toxic locker room. What do you say to that? Uh, I don't read into it too much. I think it's a lot of media just trying to create a narrative. But It's me creating it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You People like you, but uh, I, I trust Underwood, I trust the staff. I think we'll be just fine. Daddy Brad? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. We found ourselves some Sparties in the middle of the Orange Crush. So you guys are in the heart of enemy territory right now. How are we feeling right now? Tough game. You know, I think when Illinois favored six and a half, so it's a tough environment. I'm going to give a line eye a chance here, but it's going to be close, but I think we'll pull it out. Uh, what's the story here, friends? Like, what's yeah. going on? Yeah. All right, yeah. Good, Good buddies. Good right. buddies. Good buddies tonight? No. One of you guys is going to walk out of here a loser. This guy. Is it going to be him? We're number one in the Big Ten, right? I say we're going to Michigan State, man. We are currently first in the Big Ten. How are you feeling about this game? We're seven point underdogs? That's disrespectful. One, seven games in a row. That's good. I mean, it's, it's his off season right now. In about an hour, hour and a half, one of these two great gentlemen right here are going to walk out of here a loser. 
I don't think it's going to be him, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> all right, a couple of Orange Crush leaders here. Clearly, I'm all Illinois out tonight. What do I need to know to get a win tonight? All right, so what you need to know is Tyson Walker is going to miss absolutely everything tonight. We were talking to him pregame. He is absolutely rattled. Our team is on fire. Our team isn't turning the ball over at all. We're going to force at least double-digit turnovers. And uh, this one more than 50 Vinci Apple. But be loud. That's what we need. What did we say to Tyson Walker? I wrote on the board, hey, Tyson Walker, at least you're taller than your 0 for 9 coaching son. Because, you know, Steven Izzo is 0 for 9 in his career from the field. That's, That's a fact. That's a fact. It is. Zero points. Um, and he was like, hey, I'm telling you, dickhead. So I went over to this guy, and I'm like, you're not taller than him. And he was like, can we confirm you are taller than Tyson Walker? Yeah, he's 6'1". I'm 6'3". And he's... he's he, uh, he said, I don't know what I'm allowed to say, but oh, he anything, said, anything. Uh, he said, uh, you I'll beat you up. Probably not that. How long you guys been Illinois fans? My whole life. My whole life, man. You guys, like, live and die, Illini. 100%. What would you guys do for an Illini win tonight? Would you do, would you risk it all? Oh, 100%. Are you guys best friends? Yes. Would you, I mean, are you guys going to double cross each other for an Illini win? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, that's tough. Yeah, probably. This is a critical win for Illinois. They haven't really beaten anybody good lately, but they're back. Are they back? Oh, we're so back now. We got Jaden Epps, Bucket, Terrence Shannon Jr., Bucket, Danger, Bucket, Meyer, Bucket, Sky Clark, not here. All the best to Sky. Tip-off was almost here, so we made our way back to our seats and settled in for the game. At center number 22, Mani Sissoko. As you can see, he's going to try to time his own. He's assisted by Tommy Wilson, Mark Montgomery, and Thomas Kennedy. Feeling pretty confident at halftime, so we took the opportunity to go somewhere else. Halftime of the game, and we found our way to get an invite to Orange Crush. We're gonna go into the heart of the Orange Crush, and you're either gonna get a winner or lost. I'm getting a winner. Here we are. Yes, sir. Woo! Woo! Is Carter putting orange on? Carter's putting orange on. Put the orange on. Short. 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 It looks good. Let's go. Come on. Get alert. Get alert. Hey. 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 Listen, man, it's high intensity in here. This man's in orange. I just want that to be remembered when the record books are written. <laughs> now listen, I love Carter Elliott, but this... This was a card I'd never seen before. With the moment getting a little bit big, Card insisted we go back up to the media seats. A few weeks ago in the media, 
and I definitely should not have done that. Matt, you had a couple step back threes. I think people are familiar with that part of your game. You had six blocks tonight. Is that an element of your game that people should not be surprised to see, or was it exciting to show that a little bit? I have to be honest, my shot blocking ability has completely come from Coleman Hawkins. <laughs> I am not lying. He, one of the, in practice, I never get my shot blocked. Like I was like that was my thing, my jump shot or like any layups or anything. And Coleman blocked like two of my shots in a row. And so I've learned how to uh, block shots off one foot and time different things. And I really watch Coleman. And uh, personally, I think I'm more athletic than Coleman. So <laughs> when you when you add the two together, it's just fireworks. <laughs> I'm sad. I'm in the danger zone. Not happy. Don't really see a meaning to be happy. I tried to get on this video and force a smile. I told myself I was going to force a smile. I can't bring myself to do it. Again. We said we were going to come fix Illini basketball. Illinois basketball fixed. But at what cost? Your happiness. That's the only cost. I didn't know that was it. It's okay. Losing's never okay. Great teams don't lose. Um, we don't hang banners. You know, looking back on it, the game really did shift when we went to the student section. Tommy, sorry, Spartan Nation. I packed my victory shades into my backpack and planned on putting them on once the Machine State won the game. Wait, uh, do you have them with you? No, they're in my back the car. They're in my backpack. Yeah. Let's go get them. I think I might need them tonight. Uh, to the danger zone. You ain't wiping this smile off my face. I wanted to try and lift Carter's spirits, so we went to Murphy's Pub for a beverage, where we were joined by a special guest, Sports Illustrated's Kevin Sweeney. Kevin Sweeney, best uh, Sweeney, how are we doing? I'm great, man. Are you? I, I had no dog in this fight. I suppose as a Northwestern guy, I probably should not be back in Illinois, but like every time I'm in this city, like I feel like in an Illinois game. Well, I had a dog in the fight, and Dane Danger killed my dog. Just to clarify, SI means Sports Illustrated, not Spartans in shambles. That's your SI tonight, my friend. All right, and you That's got that. Force. It really was, but thank you for that message, fake ass Mike Dicka. Are the Illini back? They're back in the sense that they didn't collapse. Like, there was a point where it could have, like, truly went off the tracks, and it didn't. Yeah, but the thing about trains when they go off the track is that you got a big fellow like Dane Danger who can literally probably put a train back onto a track. How surprised, 1-10, to 10, honestly, would you be if this Illinois team won a national championship this season? Nine. I just don't see how they'd be this consistent for six games. Like, possession to possession, they're a different team. I don't know how you do it for six games. But. North Carolina almost did last year. The one difference is North Carolina had guards who could go get their own. You know who can go get their own? Dane Danger. Is this a special sports city that just needs a collegiate winner? The way this is set up, like it's set up to win, it's going to be really successful. The support is unbelievable. The atmosphere is unreal. Like the energy, they get great players. Like they have good admissions. No comment. They do have really good players. One of them is their center, Dane Danger. As the night wound down, we made our way to Legends, a bar that truly deserves its name. After our nightcap, we hit the hay, because we had a big day tomorrow. We are en route. En route? En route. En route? En route. En route. En route. En route. We, we are on the route to uh, the Illinois practice facility where Tyler Underwood. You get to meet your brother. My brother <laughs> is gonna give us a tour of the facility. I'm here with my brother, some say. Uh, this is Tyler Underwood. 
Uh, Director of Recruiting, is that the title yeah, now? Director of Recruiting and Scouting. He's going to take us through the Illinois Practice Facility Basketball Office. It looks brand new. Brand new. I'm with Daddy Brad. So <laughs> excited to give you guys the tour. So essentially we knocked down a wall, built it out another 10 feet. So we added two goals on this side. So we'll do a lot of individual breakdown, scout prep over there. And then just, you'll see little things throughout, just kind of our culture of family. My dad is always talking about family. That's something that in this building, we kind of tried to ingrain into it. This is where we spend a lot of time, like watching film. Uh, guys have time in between classes. They'll come back here, lounge, watch games. Uh, we have fingerprint scanners for every door. Sheesh. Keep, keep, it pretty, <laughs> keep it pretty tight. I feel like I'd never leave this room. You get me in one of those recliners with three TVs I'm on a guilty Saturday? Of an, I'm guilty of a nap or two. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best thing the chef makes? Um, my my, my go-to omelet order, ham, white cheddar, green peppers, little Tabasco sauce, can't beat it. So this, this room right here, back here, is my favorite in the building. So you got the ice bath, underground treadmill. So like uh -huh. Luke Goody's coming off his foot injury. He spends a lot of time in the underground, in the underwater, in the water, treadmill, and then hot tub. So we're a big believer in cold tubs. Guys spend a lot of time there. And then this is a room that's super important to my dad, the weight room. So this room right here is not completely done yet, but when it is, we'll have a hyperbaric oxygen chamber, uh, nap pods, uh, cryo. So this is a room we're super excited about. What does a nap pod do? I don't know. Um, I think it's just essentially it naps. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like a pod. It like closes. You it's like zero gravity. It's supposed to help you sleep better, recover better. Brad in here getting it into. Oh, he walks every day. Love it. Four or five miles, and then he's a cold bad guy like Carter. <laughs> Gets right into the cold. So who's the strongest guy on the team? Strongest guy on the team, Terrence Shannon. Probably, yeah, can bench press the building. The entryway into the locker room, oh, lounge area. Pros. Pros, IO Dose. And then this right here is the player lounge exclusive to them. Got more of kind of the Illini Hall of Fame. What up, Dano? But as you can see, guys just kind of come in here, hang out, eat before practice, watch games. A lot of World Cup soccer in here watched. Dane, I just want to let you know my boy here is a Michigan State fan. You had him in hell last night. I just want to make that clear. Then this is the locker room. Added a lot of space here, made the lockers bigger. I think Ty will be pretty neat. Ty, don't prove me wrong. <laughs> there you go. So you got my dad gets everyone suits before the season. Wow. So kind of see all the space we added here. But try to make them as big as possible. Shout out to Ty, man. So organized. That's the Michigan in it. You know? That's not bad, right? <laughs> Solid. That's good. That's, That's good. That's good. Now I bet you if we open Matthew Myers' locker, it doesn't look like that. Uh, I guarantee you, it doesn't. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of scared. I'm, I'm What's up? I'm gonna get the 3D fresh yeah, it's, it's, it's better than I thought. Matt, Matt's holding it down. Yeah, it's not bad. What's up, Colin? Good to see you, dude. Nice to meet you. Good job last night. Thank you. You get that a lot. This back here is kind of the shower bathroom area. It's got a spa-like feel. I'm, I'm jealous. Wow. I feel like I'm at a resort. It's not bad. Uh, snacks. You can cook kind of hot pockets, breakfast sandwiches, tuna, apples. Uh, we keep all this stocked up 24-7. So guys want to come get a get a late night meal, they can. And then, of course, you got the canned Gatorade. Oh, it's the old school, the old too. Old school Gatorade. Okay. Got to get you one. Not surprised it's orange, either. I mean, they really play into the orange here. Orange I like out. that. I like orange that a lot. Out. I do gotta have to shout out to the kicks because I feel like everyone on staff has good <laughs> Appreciate kicks. Appreciate that. It's really good kicks. We try to keep, keep. we try to keep it swaggy. How yeah. often do you get the guys who have graduated back or even just played and gone to the NBA back? Yeah, Io came back twice. He came back twice, worked out with us, spent some time with TJ, being a Chicago kid. Nice. I lived with him in college, so he'd come stay with me. He's uh, texted me after every game. Nice. Trent Frazier, he went to Europe pretty quickly. Yep. Um, we had our ring ceremony versus UMKC, so a bunch of the guys came back, which is nice. it's good. We've been here six years, so you're starting to see those guys have success come back and talk to the new guys about the process and the culture and yeah. how my dad is. So it's, it's been a good year. Well, thanks, man. We appreciate absolutely, it. This absolutely. This is Tyler Underwood, uh, Illinois. 
I'm ready to commit. I don't know about you. Like, <laughs> that's I'm, a win for the director of recruiting. That's a win. So Champagne, it's our first time here. Right. I love honestly, I love this place. I've only been here for 24 <laughs> hours. What's your favorite spot in Champagne? Uh I was probably saying Monaco's Pizza. Monaco's Pizza? Yeah, that's that, really pretty good. That's a, that's a must-go. Yeah. Because I was hearing, what was it, Dell's? Papa Dell's. Papa, Papa Dell's. Dell's. They're, they're good also, but I, I'm riding with Monaco's now. So we were walking through the weight room earlier, too, mm -hmm. and we were with your boy Tyler, and he said that you was the strongest strongest player on the team. Is that true? Yeah, probably. Probably. Uh, Dane, Dane are pretty strong, but it's, it's me. Who's stronger between Dane and Kofi if you had to pick one? I, mean, I, I would say Kofi. You say Kofi? Okay. <laughs> if you had to pick one teammate on a team, you know, to be stranded on an island with, who would you pick? Mm, stranded on an island with? Yeah. I would say probably Connor or Luke. Connor or Luke? Yeah, Connor or Luke. Okay. And we also got to go in the locker room. We saw a couple lockers. Who's the dirtiest teammate on the team? <laughs> and if it's you, you got to say um, it's you. It's definitely not me. <laughs> um. Probably dang. Probably dang. <laughs> I've been asking this question for about three years now. Certified lover boy or Donda? Donda or certified lover boy? Yep. I'm going to go with Donda. Donda? I'm going to go with Donda. All right, Terrence. the Chicago in you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, Terrence Shannon for you, folks. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. What do you want to say? Uh, call me... You know, this is the objective fan of me speaking. We've been to, is this our fourth stop? Yes. Illinois is, facilities are crazy. Like, actually, like if I'm a recruit, if I'm a high school kid and I'm showing up here, like I know, didn't you say jokingly yesterday? Like you're, what? <laughs> I just want to punch you. So. <laughs> it was safe to say that our visit to Champaign was going better than we ever thought possible. But after seeing the practice facility, we wanted to know what it was truly like to be a student at Illinois. So we made our way to campus, where we walked the hollowed grounds where only Illini have trudged. First stop, the student union, where we were reminded the power of I. When that's sweet 16, or second weekend finally comes, we're gonna get a big old Brad Underwood statue in the middle of this. Campus is particularly lovely. I rob myself of the opportunity to be an eye guy. If we were gonna get the full Illini student experience, there was still one place we had to go. The classroom. Okay class, for today's lesson, we are gonna learn how to stop Dane Danger. As you can see here, there is no way to stop him. He's a monster. With our classes done for the day, on a Saturday night in Champaign, it was time to go out on the town. Our first stop, the Illini Inn, a sports bar on campus that serves as a shrine for Illinois athletics. From there, we made our way to Cam's, the college bar, home of the drinking Illini. All rise, all rise, all rise for Dane Danger. Final night in Champagne. I'm pretty sad, I gotta be honest. I love it here. I wanna be here. I feel like I am part of Champagne. I feel like Champagne is what I stand for. Can I take a moment? I wanna say thank you, Champagne, for real. Y'all showed up, y'all showed up. You know, we hold this place in very high regard. And honestly, I don't think we held it in high enough regard. Blue expectations out of the water. 14 out of 10, we'll be back. I would like to officially end my recruitment and announce my commitment to Daddy Brad, ILL, I and I.